What's up guys, back with some more raids today. And yesterday we were talking about trying to raid Riot Clan. And so I got up at 3 a.m. this morning to try to hit them because it would be impossible to solo them online. They rolled at least eight deep every wipe. But the first thing I see when I come online is these guys spamming chat, dude. They're all up. These kids never sleep. So anyways, we're gonna try to get some more raids in and hopefully find some maybe newer clan bases that are massive built up. And I wanna apologize for my voice this morning, but I did wake up at 3 a.m. and I also have COVID again. So yeah, really affecting my voice, but I hope it's still gonna be watchable. Just gonna sound like crap for these raids. But I'll be over it soon anyway and voice will be back to normal, hopefully tomorrow. Anyways, I have found a what looks to be an armored bunker with some hidden loot. I mean, it's kind of the most obvious armored hidden loot bunker that I've really come across. Um, we will only need 14 C4 and two rockets max, I believe, because it looks like there's going to be two armored walls that we need to take, but I'll just go ahead and show you guys. He's also camoed it off. Look at this thing, man. Built in between all these trees, but yeah. Living out of a external TC looking thing, but I mean, come on. That's just obvious, dude. All completely armored, trying to camo it off in trees, bro. I bet we're about to get loaded from this thing. I'll take you guys around it, so not decaying. Actual tree freaking embedded in his wall right there. But yeah, come on, that looks suspicious. So we'll take 7C4, we'll hit one of these walls with one extra rocket. And then assuming it's going to be another armored wall after that? So yeah, let's give it a shot. Bet we are about to score a jackpot here. One thing we do wanna do is make this quick so we don't get countered. Come on, do we have anything? Yeah, small box, regular box, and a sleeper that's TC. Oh no. Um, three rockets, will that do the window? Um, I think we're gonna need to shoot off a bit of the expo. Let's see what's on his body here. It says base on there. Yes, let's go dudes, look at that, 33C4. What was that like? 70 rockets in there, 230 tech trash. Let's go stash a lot of this stuff. We'll take the GL for counters in case we get any. I'm gonna take this guy's AK, I guess we'll kill him too. And you're gonna go stash a lot of this stuff. We'll send off, I think it's 2C4 on this comeback. All right, TC should be exposed there. Let's go set up some walls on it. Man, come on. Let's go set up some walls on it and see what was in that TC, or we might just bring it back to our raid base, to be honest. Can we get Sulfur? Come on. Yeah, 16k sulfur, let's go. With all those C4 rockets, that's a massive jackpot. Bro, what is with that? 40 cameras? 64 targeting computers? We have turrets for days now. Did we miss anything? Yeah, we got it all. Kind of weird, he really only had tech trash in the comms box, but there we go, guys. That is a great start to the day of raiding right there. And I'll see what else I can find. I've really been liking hitting the armored cave bases below ground. We might try to find even more of those. But yeah, I'll take you guys to the next raid. Okay guys, still out here scouting and it's looking more and more like we won't be able to hit a massive clan base above ground. Here's one of the massive clan bases that I had scouted and it's been reduced to ashes. These are the remnants of the base. It's actually a sleeper on top still, but I just have to assume it was Riot Clan that took these guys down. Literally the thing is wiped. Look at all these TCs, external TCs these guys had set up. And there's still some turrets on them, assuming that most of them had turrets. But yeah, we really need a counter clan for Riot to come and take them down because they're wiping everybody out. But yeah, still on the hunt for some bases, probably going to end up trying to find an armored cave. And I'll see you guys once I find something. Just had to show you guys the remnants of this base. All right, guys. Well, I found exactly what I was looking for. Down here, actually pretty close to that base that we just raided. We've got a double cave. Now, this one looks rated, but if you guys actually check it out, not decaying, maybe somebody blew into here, took down a few walls, but they did not finish it out. Um, so I brought instant rockets. This is a cave with the spike traps. We should be able to hear a counter jumping over them. And if we do, we'll come back here, send some instant rockets straight up against that node. 
We'll keep this thing blocked off from counters and probably end up hitting both sides. Not really sure which one would have loot. However, I'm going to do the sheet metal one first. I mean, come on, sheet metal over a stone would probably have loot in the sheet metal. This one should be cheaper anyway, so brought 33 C4. Hopefully that's enough to do both of them. And we're just gonna continue on blasting over here where it's already been damaged. Okay, at least it doesn't become armored. No way, that's boxes. Anti C, let's go, dudes. 8 C4 cave raid. Small box hidden off back there. Uh, I guess we could chuck up some doors, maybe finish off his cave for him. Um, and guys, you know what? Before we do hit that stone, if we need to, we could set an auto turret up here to guard our back. So let's finish sealing this off. And let's start checking loot in here. Oh, no way. No way! Every single box was empty. Are you telling me that the loot's actually on the stone side? Did the bag say any hints? No. Oh my god. 160 metal? Are you serious? Okay. Well, I just got baited. Cheat metal side did not have anything in it unless it's sealed and hidden off but seeing as we got tc a bunch of boxes and bags i'm gonna come back here with a turret we'll set a turret up guarding that stone side see if we can hit that maybe it's just a smart builder putting his stuff in stone instead of metal just to bait people all right guys so i literally just got the turret up and we're getting countered heard a midi fly in he's coming down the cave this is so unfortunate timing i wasn't even able to bring everything out just came back here straight with a turret um, we'll have to kill this guy and then start incending it off. Okay, he's over there near the entrance. He's dead, right? He's gotta be dead. You're not friendly. You're not at all friendly. That was Riot Clan, bro. What the heck, man? They're everywhere. All right, well, we're gonna end send this off. We're gonna try to hit the stone cave. Oh, that was Dune Clan and Riot. Are they teamed? That's illegal. Anyways, we'll try to end send that off if we hear anybody coming close again. And yeah, we're gonna go for the stone side. Oh, they're coming back already. All right, so here comes the incense. Keep the incense up and running this entire time. And then if they do get through, turrets should cover me. They probably brought C4 and rockets though. It's a sleeper, I think. Man, what the heck? This thing's wide open. Okay, <laughs> look at all those boxes. Yo, that's the whole cave. That's TC, that's, that's a three man clan too. Let's keep those incense up and running. And we'll get a door up here. Let's see what we can do. This is good. This is really good. If we have doors up with the turret, if they start shooting the turret down, we can come and GL them from the back. But yeah, let's get those incense up. We'll get some doors down and we'll start checking loot. Two really easy cave raids, bro. Brought way too much. I think they're having a fight up there between the counters. Let's start checking this loot. Let's go. Uh, yeah, good comps, but only four tech trash. Oh no. Okay, weapons. There we go, 10 rockets to C4. That's more than we used to raid this side of the cave. However, we did use eight C4. I'm more worried about the stuff I brought here. If these guys do successfully counter, I would have brought more than we actually got from loot. And we need to send one more incident before we check that TC. Alright, let's go for that TC. Can we get any sulfur? Alright, two airdrops. And... 12k uncooked? Alright, this dude's talking, man. What is he trying to say? Wait, what are you trying to say, bro? 
Oh, you ain't getting any loot. This is all mine, dude. Why? Because I want it. Okay, I'm going to try to make these things <laughs> secured off fully. And yeah, I guess we'll hide out in the metal side behind the turret. Get it sealed off completely. Wait a bit for it to cool down. And then hopefully we can get out of here with our 27 C4. Not to mention 39 rockets. And yeah. Oh, it was decent, decent. You'll see. Yeah, you'll see if you watch the video, bro. Okay, guys, so here's the plan. Tomorrow, the server is wiping midday. We are gonna go for Riot Clan, no matter what. Gonna bring everything and send everything off on their base. See if we can do it. And even if I fail, maybe I die before I can even send off the first rocket. I'm still gonna put it at the beginning of tomorrow's video. So make sure to get subbed if you guys wanna see what happens there. And for the rest of the video today, I'm just gonna be hitting every single base that I can find, no matter how big or small. Trying to stack up the profit for that huge raid starting tomorrow. And we've got something here. Um, normally I probably wouldn't raid this thing, but since we're trying to stack up for tomorrow, yeah, it's a little two by one with an airlock stone base, sheet metal door on the front, only bringing minimal explosives here, five rockets, two C4. Let's just see if it's profit. I mean, key lock, it looks like a solo player, not expecting anything from this base, but like I said, we're hitting everything I can find. Okay, another sheet metal door. One more rocket. You gotta love how a launcher brings down trees. We've got furnaces, coffins. Hey, actually looks pretty decent. TC's locked. Maybe we won't even chuck a door up. Let's see, can we expect anything from this base? Let's check that TC. Are we already getting countered? Okay, not sure if that was a fire or a mini. We'll chuck a door up. And TC. Start checking TC. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. 20k sulfur. That just adds up to what we can bring to Riot Clan's raid to tomorrow. And he's cooking sulfur. Yo, why do I skip these types of bases? I mean, they look like they have nothing in them, but we are still leaving with basically 30k sulfur. Haven't even checked the boxes yet for explosives. And yeah, he's got a decent amount of ammo in there. 13 satchels can kind of come in handy. No tech trash whatsoever. Was he cooking sulfur in these two? Oh, just metal in those. All right, well, hopefully that wasn't a mini landing outside. So we can walk out here to our raid base. Gonna try it. Might just get deleted. Let's see. Okay, I think I was just hearing things. We look okay. That's definitely a mini. How do they know? How the frick do they know, dude? Is this Riot too? Just literally coming everywhere I raid. Oh my god, it's a Chinese guy. 3C4 on him, okay. We'll take that. Just stacking up the stuff. Don't really have room to take the rest of that. But yeah, let's try for at least one more raid for the video, and yeah, hitting anything. Alright guys, well, I did say anything, and <laughs> look at what we got here, wooden base. This is a one rocket raid, we'll wipe the entire thing in like two seconds. I don't know why my PC is taking a crap, barely holding 60 FPS, I think it's all of these trees surrounding me. But yeah, we'll send off one rocket, maybe two jail rounds to fully collapse it. And that's going to be the last raid of the video. Let's see if there's anything we can get left to raid Riot Clan tomorrow. <laughs> and it just falls apart. Was there anything in there? That's one box. Assuming that was the TC. Literally nothing but that. Hey, can we get a jackpot? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. All right, guys. Make sure to get subbed. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. We're going for something huge using everything. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and wish me luck tomorrow.